Okay, listen, I know this is going to be an update video on primarily NWR, and that's probably what most of you are here for, but this is also going to be an update video on my side project, or side channel, The Rose of Britain. Now, for those of you who have been around since 2015, will know that The Rose of Britain has been, well, a bit of a passion project, which started with the, N well, the Inman Valley Railway, and that's been going on for the past five years. But... I'm going to be fair here. There's not much to talk about that one, so I might as well get to the big bit. NWR. Now, it has taken me five years to get this out, and this year, obviously, it made its grand debut with Daisy's Fitter, which was written by the fantastic um, James Smith, who gave me permission to rewrite it slightly and put it into canon for my stuff. Um... And yes, it just all followed from there. We then got a rewrite of Near Miss uh, and two original stories by myself that revolve around, but a, well, <laughs> I don't know how to describe him, but I know Rosswood, who, <laughs> who has actually helped me with a lot of Bert's characteristics and writing, because obviously he's the voice actor, so, and he does help pitch a few things here and there. Um, but what I will say is, I've got two book. actually no, I've got three books in the works right now, but there's a slight issue. Um, alright, I just might as well cut to the chase here. All three of them are entitled Duck, Oliver and their branch line, Thomas and his coaches, and Thomas, Toby and Miles. Now, all of those are not going to be in that order. But I will state the record here that Duck Oliver, uh -huh. Duck Oliver, and their branch line started filming basically a month after Tricks and Trouble got concluded, and I had to stop recently because I hit a bit of a model issue or, or a technical issue, really. Um, and because of that, that book is on hold, so for the rest of the part, when I do end up filming it, it will look vastly different to the two that I'm work- the other two that I'm working on. Thomas and his coaches will more likely be the one to be released. So, once that actually, you know, eventually happens, um, I just want to make, you know, I just want to make the point clear that part one of Duck Lover and their branch line will look rather... different. Uh, to everything else. Secondly, I would like to mention that um, I want to have a well, a massive thank you to the end of our team. Um, so that w <laughs> normally I wouldn't name names, but I feel like they I owe them that much <laughs> because they've helped me. Uh, Bep, Knuckles, James, uh, Main, Ruby, and Ross and Nicholas. All of them have helped me out drastically when it comes to making this uh, possible. And special thanks to Ruby and Nuck because those two have basically... <laughs> they've basically been the ones that have kind of been working on the whole thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but if it weren't for those two, I would still be trying to cobble together everything. Um, and what I will mention now is... I have an entire release sheet right <laughs> right in front of me, so it has all things I've got planned for the next few years, and I will be honest here, I have a, I have effectively 10 volumes planned, but the obvious issue here is I haven't planned all of them out, but the reason why some of them are planned, well the reason why I've planned as far as 10 volumes is because I do have ideas for later on, and I've set myself rules which I will obviously be going by. So each volume consists of 15 books, and obviously we're in volume 1 right now, and I just have 14 left to do, which I know I won't get done within the next year or so, so each volume will probably at last <laughs> Each volume will probably last two years, but I want to make it clear that I have all these stories planned. I have literally several years worth of, of stuff planned, 
So if any storage is, you know, if in, when the eventuality that this, you know, they get released and storages happen that are similar, I've had them planned for a good year or three. Because <laughs> this was all, all the planning was started uh, back in 2019. Uh, but that obviously, well, I'm not going to explain why, but it got canned because something happened and I just didn't want to carry on with it. Um, but aside from that, the series obviously is, is going <laughs> pretty much well at the moment and a lot better than what I expected because, you know, I've tried to make my stuff different and fairly original because I've noticed that not many people do railway series stuff and if they do, it's... I actually don't, it's not in trains, let's put it that way. So I would lastly finish up with NWR by saying, um, it's been a roller coaster since the years began because Tricks and Trouble first started being written effectively in March or April. And I wanted to do, basically have a story that sets the ground and you know, the the expectation rather high and truthfully in part four I kind of set the bar rather too high for myself um, because I know so in part four uh, if as I'm hoping most of you have watched <laughs> um, there's the accident at the end and truthfully I feel like I might have set that a bit too high but I you know it, it did come out better than I expected, but I feel like, obviously, because I haven't used trains for a good 3-4 years now, it's still a rather trial and error situation right now, but fingers crossed here's hoping that in the future I do change, you know, my methods slightly. Because um, I've been told that I've got my own style, and I can't really complain by that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is going to do it for NWR. Um, on to the Railways of Britain. So the Railways of Britain has been a passion project that's been going on for the past five years, as we mentioned earlier, starting off with the Inman Valley Railway, and it's just branched in over time into different concepts that I wanted to expand upon, which I couldn't do in just Inman, so I decided, you know what, bring it all back in, redevelop it, and just make it all, you know, <laughs> make it all work together. But yeah, so for the past several months since the release of episode 4 of Origins for Engines of Inman, I've basically had a bit of a sit back and think, and just thinking about, because I've got all the stories written for Origins basically, um, I've just s sat down and thought, I've got to change some of the things I'm doing, otherwise this might not go the way I think it will. And truth be told, um, this. <laughs> um, there have been points where I've almost axed stuff from the universe itself and if I do that then that will just bugger up things so uh, <laughs> what I've sat down to think about is because I addressed this a few months back United Rails that I've decided that I'm just gonna narrow it down even more and I'm just basically not going to do much with it. So in doing so, I am basically going to make it shorter than what I planned originally and just basically do a sort of annual thing, I guess. Like, just have half an hour to 45 minute stories, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to wait and see because I haven't started on it yet. But that's the working idea at the moment. But if I get that out of the way, then I've got less to worry about, and one thing that I can just tick off by saying, it's done, I don't have to worry about this <laughs> this hellhole, and I can just carry on with whatever else. Um, <laughs> so, what I can thankfully say though is, on this regard, is I have started work on three of the other concepts for The Rose of Britain. Um, none of them have been mentioned at all. Um, until this point. Um, <clears throat> all three of them are vastly different, but obviously they're still in the same style as Inmund, 
Uh, well, not visual-wise. I'm hoping to not do the screenshot storybook thing. Um, and obviously, that's my hope for Inman in the future as well. Um, that I don't do the storybook thing and I expand and do something else. Because while it's different and, you know, I want it to have more visual stuff because then it's just more pleasing. <laughs> not all of it will be actually brought onto YouTube but things will exist. I know it's probably not worth me even talking about because obviously most people in here won't be interested in this sort of thing. They'll only be interested in, you know, <laughs> the Thomas stuff, which I don't blame them because it obviously is one massive different thing, but I, I would like to see people just watch and give it a try and then see what it's like because I'm still trying to improve and looking back on, you know, the past four episodes of Origins and the two specials, I could definitely say that I can improve with what I'm doing because I was basically limited to what I could do and now I'm just basically wanting to redo the whole thing. Um, so yeah, there is that and fingers crossed I do have, um, well, something almost completely different uh, coming up soon. But what I will say is though, things are coming. <laughs> I'm not slim on ideas, especially thanks to the team for NWR, and same can be said for Inmund and all the others. I'm so used to saying that at this point, it's not natural. Um, but I have all the plans, I have all the concepts. <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> and I'm basically ready to do whatever. I just need to actually set my mind to doing it, because... Well, the day I'm doing this is the 15th of August, and for those who don't know, is the Orgy Extravaganza thing, which I would have gone to if I wasn't so bloody all over the place with my scheduling, because <laughs> it's just been chaos, but I would have gone to that. <laughs> I would like to set the record straight. Um, I've said that so many times this... Oh, God. Right, but anyways, what I will finish up with saying is I've got a lot in store I won't spoil much or anything else because I've already spoiled three book titles which I'm sure people wanted to possibly wait on and well let's just see how it goes really so yes once again a big thank you to Nuck, Ruby um Summer <laughs> and just everyone who's just helped me in over the past few months with you know everything because it's helped <laughs> and yeah that's pretty much it so that's it f for me <laughs> sorry my my <laughs> my brain's going scattered now so that is it for me for now um keep your eyes out for the next month because i might have something released but yeah, until next time, <laughs> goodbye.